uh, Amanda, I, I saw a note in here of something that you've been uh, trying out. And I actually, so, so you brought up Clubhouse and the Slack and the invites. And I messaged you right after they were talking about it on Twit. Uh, because uh, Leo and, and I, Justine, were actually discussing it and, uh, and, and, and helped me sell on it. Because, like, again, looking at it, like, I didn't really get the concept. Um, but that really kind of drove it home. Uh, can you explain to everybody what, what Clubhouse is? So Clubhouse is if you would take the AOL chat rooms and have speakers and then listen to it live. Mm -hmm. So like take like a, a panel of people and just, but it, it, it could be anybody. Like I was on the other night, um, I happened to go into this chat room that was Pittsburgh Musicians and they asked me to be on the panel to speak. And I, I, I declined because I didn't know anybody in the room, obviously, but like literally, and it, it's um, the way I can really describe, that's the best way to describe it. It's basically like on-demand conferences that you can listen to speakers. And it's everything from, um, I was in a social media speak yesterday where they were just talking about brand and advancements and like how to reach bigger customers and like audiences to um gary v was talking to one day just for 20 minutes and you but you got like and it's a chat room so they can literally reach out to you and ask you to talk and or you can raise your hand and talk so there's a little bit more interact in there than your typical like sit in a conference room and listen to a person talk for two hours um something locally i'm part of a a a all women's group called um, Gather and Grow, and they're using it three times a week to just have gab sessions while we listen to music, just to be like a supportive group. Mm -hmm. Um, like uh, yeah, I was on with TikTokers the other day and Instagram influencers for an hour. It was great. It was really really interesting and insightful, and they were actually talking about being your authentic self. It was topics like that that you don't normally get in a conference setting like South by Southwest. They were talking about how like like um, Sophia Morosa, who runs um, Nasty Girl, who wrote Girl Boss, and she's been in a million books, rags to that like rags to riches story. And she was talking about how like she had to talk about losing a child like on it and on social media. And that was like how she was authentic and things like that. Like it was just, it was a very neat thing to not, I don't know. It's just a lot different. It's, it's so, so the barrier for me is always like kind of jumping in on something like this. I, Cause that's what I hear like, Oh, so-and-so came in. Let's let them in. Like I, I, I'm, and even I think I was in a room actually while we were discussing this. Like I'm seeing like daily habits for high performers with like 400 people in there. 24 hour vibes. Introduce yourself. Stock market gems. It is a little bit of like I feel like I feel like it's like well what's this versus a Zoom meeting? But I guess it's like what if you had an open Zoom meeting, which feels so dangerous because I remember when we had open Google Hangouts in the early days and the weird things that would happen on our shows. Uh, but. <laughs> Um, but, oh, I'm still in it. That's the, why is my name still there? That's interesting. Uh, but. The, and the cool thing is, is like, you don't get to talk unless the panel people tell yes. you you can talk. Yeah. So you can raise your hand. So yeah. there isn't like any of that type of weird stuff going on, but it's, you know, what I really think of it is like, remember the boot camps like of years and years ago and kind of like what we based pod camp on mm -hmm. and where you could just jump from room to room to room to learn from anybody and everybody. It's almost like that on a larger scale. Yeah, yeah, I can see it. It's a digitized version of that. Wait, wait, are you saying? Are you saying? Are you saying we can bring back PodCamp digitally through this concept? Is that what's happening <laughs> probably, right now? We not, probably could. Not to start a rumor here, but <laughs> but I I do still have the dot com. Um, am I free to is welcome? It? Oh, Katie just signed up for this. Uh, <laughs> So is it is it just audio or is there like a video screen share aspect to it? Just video. Or just audio. I'm sorry, just audio. So you just literally put in your headphones and can be do I was painting walls while listening to it. <laughs> like I was writing last week listening to it. I just didn't I didn't have to pay 
it, it, I almost did it through osmosis, basically. Huh. Huh. So it's a nice little background thing, kind of in lieu of a podcast, but it's actually a lot of people. So that'll be interesting. I, I hope it. It's interesting. I, I'm worried. I'm worried that like, like all the influencey people will ha- latch onto it, and that's it. You know what I mean? And that's that's not enough for this app to keep going. But um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll all be talking to each other about how we can talk to each other better. <laughs> and um, but uh, but it's, but it's in invite only mode now. Uh, that's how I got in. Uh, uh, thanks to you, Amanda. Uh, so, but if you look up Clubhouse, it's the one with a dude with dude talking. <laughs> so, uh, like it's a black and white photo, and you feel like it's something else. But um, Chilla was already taken. Ah, you can reserve your name. Okay. Yeah, you can, and I have invites left, so there you go. Definitely. <laughs> hit, hit up Amanda. I have a I have a I have an invite invites now, so we can we can expand the awesome universe in this app so i think i'm still in a room with you katie am i is that what's happening are you seeing this <laughs> i'm like i'm adding interest i think it's interesting that it wanted to pull my info from twitter yes like it filled out my entire profile from from twitter i think it had other options too didn't it it, it just gave me twitter as okay. my option i don't know maybe it and and now I'm I can add interest. I don't I don't have interest. Uh, yeah, the <laughs> interests are weird because like you look in and it says you know they're they're ha- what you're having conversations about when you get in here. It's like hanging out, wellness, identity, places, world affairs, arts. Like they're so broad. Hustle. That was the one I was looking for. That was where the weird ones were because that was the at the top of my list was hustle. And I guess that's where you find your TikTok people and everything like that. So. Um, but um, yeah, there's some Instagram Instagram marketing secrets, tips, tricks. Actually, this actually might be um pretty good. And, and they do they do have uh a lot of um um groups like um let's see, there's like I, I just saw the black working girl one, women in business, like you mentioned, Amanda. So there's a lot of options out there to find you know kind of people in whatever tribe you're in. So that's good. That's awesome. Clubhouse, check it out. Try to get in. Reserve your name. Hopefully, Chella didn't grab it already. <laughs> 